Yo, what's happening? We're back, man. It's the day after Mother's Day, and we up in here doing some troubleshooting. So, I don't know when you come back up, spray this grass again, but it's growing real good. I like that. Now I just need to get this big ass tree out here. Oh, um, so man, uh, I've been having some problems with the red bird, man. And uh, like, sometimes when I be riding, man, you know what I'm saying? Like it'll, it'll I think I said that to y'all before, like it'll shoot to low power mode, I mean reduced power mode. Uh, it'll, uh, sometimes it'll just cut off and it won't start back for a little while. I have to sit for a while and then it'll start back. Or either I have to reset the computer by, you know what I'm saying, un, un, uh, unhooking the battery. You know what I'm saying? And I, don't, I didn't know what it was. So I changed the uh, map sensor because that was on the intake and they were saying, you know what I'm saying, there was some symptoms of the map sensor. Well, that probably could have been bad, but it didn't stop my problem because after I changed the map, it was still doing the same thing. So I came back, I went back and I was looking at uh, some stuff and um, it was a guy on YouTube talking about the math sensor. As far as I've, as long as I've had the car, I've never changed the math sensor. I've never, you know what I'm saying? I don't know symptoms of a math, but he was like, um, there's a few ways to know if your math sensor is not working correctly. So I was like, oh, okay, so I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking at the video. So he went out there and uh, he said, start your car, start your car and unplug your math sensor. I mean, of course your math sensor still be in there, but unplug it. If your car cuts off, when you unplug it, if your car cut off, that means your math is working properly. So I'm like, all right, let me go and check mine then. You know what I'm saying? So I come out here. But he was also showing some stuff about cleaning it. So I got, uh, I got some uh, mass airflow sensor cleaner. And um, so I just cleaned it out. Just cleaned the uh, mass airflow sensor out. So now, uh, um, well, no, I unplugged it first. I unplugged it first. Hold, hold on for a second. Hold on. Yo, what's happening, man? It's your dog. Big B Low. Mister. And it mind himself. Man, I'm coming to her. Just look. I got, I'm just had to make my own little commercial real quick, man. Hey, look, if you haven't already, I know y'all don't say the new uh, face of the channel. You know what I'm saying? They got that join button up there. Man, hey, go ahead and explore that join button, man. Become a member of the b -Low Nation, man. Uh, we got uh, three levels, $2.99, $6.99, and uh, $9.99. We got Nation, we got Big Nation, and we got Ain't Mine Gang. You know what I'm saying? They all have their separate perks. Which Anime Gang has its own perks and all of the perks from the other two tiers. So yeah, man. Uh, if you haven't done that already, go ahead and explore that join button, man. And uh, yeah, enjoy those. Uh, enjoy some of these nice perks, man, that the dog gonna set out for y'all, man. Uh, but yeah. That being said, man, let's get back to the video. Yeah. So. Came out here, started the car, unplugged the math, car still running. Ah, okay, so the math sensor bad. But, I'm gonna clean it first to see if I need to replace it because I know for sure it probably ain't never been clean because I can smell like, like if I had my window down, like I can get like a little hint of carbon like when I be driving, like the wind be blowing back. I can get a little, I can smell like a little hint of carbon. Like I can't, I can't smell it with the windows up, but I can definitely smell a little bit of when the, uh, when the windows down. So 
I'm gonna clean it, let it dry out, which it should be dry by now. Hopefully. You gotta get them little, that little contact right there, gotta get clean. I think it's one in there too. It might be the same one, shit, I don't know. But, man, these little things high, man. These things, man, a hundred bucks, easy. So, let me, uh, I'm gonna let this dry out. And then, I'm gonna uh, put it back on there and see what I got, man. I don't know if it's gonna change it as far as, um, as far as, the operation of it if i unplug it if the car still gonna run and all that i don't know if it's gonna do that but you know what i'm saying i'm just gonna clean it to to, to see and then we'll go from there so more than likely i'm probably gonna have to buy a math sensor you know what i'm saying for the red bird man hopefully man hopefully man i can go ahead and get myself together man so i can go ahead and take this mold out of here all together take this whole setup out of here you know what i'm saying yeah i'll know what it is from there so let me go ahead, let this dry out, and uh, then I'm gonna bring y'all back to see what we got. Yeah, man. So, the math bad. We ain't gonna worry about it. I kind of figured it anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, we ain't gonna worry about that. we about to go ahead, uh, order a math sensor, and that's gonna be down there. It's probably why <coughs> my check engine light on anyway. So, we ain't finna sweat that. So what I'm finna do now is, I just bought some for my rose. I'm finna go in here and see if I got everything to install it. Get it installed, show y'all what it is. So we can move on to the next favorite of my rose is life, man. So let me go and wrap this up. Be right back. I don't know. Nah, y'all can't see up in there. You can't see up in there, but it ain't nothing in there. Yeah, you can see in there a little bit. Ain't nothing up in there, so go ahead and take my tube. Oh. Take this. I'm just, yeah, I got a seal on it. Y'all see the seal on it right there. So I'm assuming you just. Put that bad boy in there. Man. Like, why this gotta be like this? And that's as far as it's going. So, is it a Torvus tube in there? Hold on. I'll be right back. Hold on. Ooh, excuse me. Alright y'all, so I don't know if you can probably glance and see it in there. At first it wouldn't even go in. At first it was just sticking out. So I guess I had to turn it a certain way. I don't know which way I turned it, so I can't even tell y'all, but on the uh as far as I know the 94 through 96 Caprice and Paula is gonna stick out and then you gotta I guess you gotta turn it a certain way so it'll go on slide up in there. But uh, I pushed it. I'm actually looking at a video from the Two Style Garage. Two Style Garage. I'm actually looking at a video watching him do it because I didn't want to break it. But uh, he he stuck it in there and um, then it stuck out the same way this one does. And then he was like, uh, maybe it'll go in once he tightened up the nut on there. But he actually touched it again, and it went on in a little bit. So, yeah, I'm going to just use the line, I guess, to run it on through. Use this line right here. Put the line back in there, run it on through. Make sure this line seat with that. Tighten it down. And uh, we're going to be done. So, um, yeah, let me go and do that, man. I done got my hands dirty and wasn't even trying to. So, yeah, that scared me, though. I thought I had about the wrong thing. But yeah, here we go, man. Let me go ahead and uh tighten this down and get it get it get it everything straight. 
All right, y'all. So, got the line tightened back down. Got all the lines tightened down. Got the bottom line and the top line. Got this line tightened down. Got that line tightened down. All these lines are tight. I think. Yeah, I think that line tight. Everything tight. So, I'm sure when uh whoever charged the system, they're gonna go they're gonna go around and make sure everything tight before they do anything anyway. So, yeah. One more piece to the puzzle, man. So, um, yeah, this is the part number for the uh, 94 through 96 uh, Caprice Impala. I'm not sure if it's the same one for the 91 through 93. I'm not sure. I just know. What I put in, what you know what I'm saying, I put in for a 94 Capri, so, and pretty much um, the 94 Impalas and the 94 through 96 Impalas the same as the 94 through 96 Capri, so, uh, yeah, um, I, I don't remember, I don't, I don't know what the uh, condenser system looks like on the uh, 91 through 93s. Because y'all know this right at it right here is is running off of the uh, it's not running off it don't it doesn't have the uh, radiator cap so the radiator is different and it doesn't have the dual fans on the 91 to 93 so I'm not sure so I don't know y'all should check that out and see if that's the same if that you know what I'm saying if you can do that but um yeah. So, um, I think that's it, man. Uh, I got some stuff coming in tomorrow that I'm going to, um, I got stuff coming in tomorrow that I'm going to, uh, show because I need to, uh, I need to change up some stuff on here. Uh, so that I can get rid of this jug right here. I want another type of jug So I'm uh getting rid of that And I got some paws coming in to support that uh removal and I think that's it After that man, I gotta really get to the nitty-gritty and get to the big stuff so I can go on ahead and get this thing on the road man but uh Yeah, I don't know if this video I don't know how long this video is. I don't know if it's long or short, but, uh, yeah, just showing y'all what we got working, man. May Rose in, in the AC system. May Rose finna be in the Arctic. That's what we about to be doing. Freezing. So, uh, with that being said, I gotta, I gotta mount that wash car too. That, uh, that uh the fan relay i gotta mount that fan relay i ain't mounted that yet so we still got some footage on that because we still gotta find a spot to mount that successfully so that that won't be in the way oh uh, and yeah as far as everything else man i think we got i think we got all the wiring and stuff figured out i think we well still for the fog lights i haven't uh i haven't tried to reroute the fog lights yet I'll do that at some point because I really wanna I wanna get that steering kind of fixed first to see if these lights work. I might just buy some bulbs. Because the bulbs might be blown. I'm not even sure because they was working at first and then they just stopped. So my park lights, which is these right here. So I don't even know if I don't know if they blown. I don't know what it is. But I should just go and buy some more and see buy some more bulbs and see if they blown and then I want to hook uh, I'm going to hook the fog lights to my fog lights but I want to do it while the signal blinking I want to do it while the signal blinking so I can know which wire not to tap into because I don't want my fog lights blinking with my signals you feel what I'm saying so got to figure that out I don't want I don't want my uh I don't want my fog lights connected to my headlights. 
No. I don't want my fog lights connected to. I could hook it to the headlights, huh? Nah, I kind of want them. Just in case I want to just ride with my fog lights, I can ride my fog lights and my fog lights. I can do that. I don't know. I had to figure that part out. But I don't want them connected to the key hot no more. That's, that's what they was connected to. They was connected to the key hot. So they all, they, as soon as I turned my switch on, my fog lights came on. Regardless. So, yeah. I need maybe. Mm, nah, I want them on the fog lights. I want them on the fog lights. Baby, not singing. But uh, yeah, man. So we're gonna figure that out, and uh, then after that, we're gonna uh, go ahead and uh, like I said, get to everything else we need to get to. Uh, but yeah, it's your dog, man. Gonna close this thing out. Big below, Mr. Animal himself. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.